the Nine Assembly, we came into the Nine Assembly and we are about to finish without any problem or crisis in the house. But there is many lapses which we saw it within the leadership of the house. And we need assembly that will help Nigerian people. We need assembly that will oversight the project, not assembly that will keep the members in the hotel and settle them there and come back. <laughs> I believe members elect shall look carefully. They should forget money. They should forget everything. Because the worst thing is when you elected a person and later on he didn't deliver it as it is, the members should start regretting. Yusuf Gadi came in the Nine Assembly. As I came late, I saw it in his brief. He passes bill, which he breaks the history of the National Assembly as a new member. <laughs> Seriously, he passed ten bills and six of them was assented into law by the president. No member in the history of Nigeria, no new member came to the house and do that. <laughs> when we are in the floor of the house, when you see 360 of us, when Gadi rests to speak, you will know that he has a legislative experience. <laughs> because when he emerged as a deputy speaker in Plateau State, the procedures in the National Assembly and there is the same. Only small changes. And when he came to the House, he just treated the House like he said Assembly, because Everything is the same, and which later he become champion. <laughs> we have people that are looking for this position. Among of them, organize Yusuf Gadi, not because it's my friend, because I know he's the man deserve to do the job. The major contester is Betara. Betara is with Gadi 100%. Likewise, Gadi is with Betara 100%. There is no any misunderstanding between them because when we are in the flow, they understand each other, they know each other. Why I say I mention only to Betara. He's a good man and a very gentle man and very silent. The only things with him, he don't say no. You don't say no. Whenever you came with him, you post him, he will say yes. And he is not outspoken in the public too much. His behavior, he's a good man. But in terms of the speaker, you need a person that will say no. <laughs> Seriously. That is the only different I advise the members and from this place I am planning to meet Betara to come and join Getty <laughs> because Betara is 
now trying to take his position back. Because I can remember in 2015, with the struggling and the help of Betara, Dogara emerged as a speaker. Single-handedly, Betara walked too much and made sure they brought Dogara, they defeated Femi, which is the most surprised defeat in the history of the National Assembly. Because we were invited, all members elect, we do a dinner with the president. President begged us, tell us to vote for Femi. The party and our governors tell us to go for party supremacy, to respect the party, and we obey our governors. We are here in this hotel, 242 members up to 6 a.m. the day the election will take place. They take us in, heel, in, in boxes. They are counting us. One, two, three, four. We want to follow 400, uh, 242 and pay me need only 181 to win. But unfortunately, Femi, we, we are 242. So Femi has confidence that he won't, he already won. But when we enter that chamber, because it's a mafia house, before you can say anything, the thing turns like this, and like this, and like this. What's your eyes of right? When, when Petero come in, 15 minutes before starting the election, I see Petero with some people. They are doing couscous, -cous, they are doing couscous. -cous. <laughs> but because we have confidence, because we know we have 242, we have confidence. Don't go use that confidence and even show that already Femi has won. He starts celebration, telling people as he wants. But to be surprised, when they start counting, when they start counting, before, for the first time, they say, pay me, pay me, pay me. We are happy. They are, our number is correct. But when they start playing me, they start to go, to go, to Before you can say, to go to the window, we start surprises. We see where these people come from. So why I say this house is a mafia house, when we are here having a meeting, that 242, they are calling, pay me, among of that 242, they are counting themselves. Almost 70 people are Dogara people. But they join us here. When they count us, they mine us there. <laughs> they call on point. Here we are to vote when we throw, so, so we are there. And then when we, they, they use that, that thing and, and, and win the elections. In 2019, we come back. They still show pay me. And that is Betara is contesting. But when we go, we beg Betara, please come, let's join. Fortunately, he don't have I told you he doesn't say he don't say no. <laughs> he don't say no. When we say please, we draw, he say yes, I will draw. <laughs> so he, with his contribution, pay me a match as a speaker. So my assuming is, Betere is a father 
of the house. He brought speaker to so let him stay as a master and boss of the house. <laughs> that is what he's supposed to be. Because he brought the speaker in the head assembly, he brought the speaker in the nine assembly, he's supposed to brought Gadli as a speaker in the ten assembly. And inshallah, we have that hope. Things will settle, inshallah. Lastly, I am calling the attention of newly members elect. When you enter that house, your responsibility and your future is a speaker. Because if speaker plan for the members, you will succeed. If speaker abandon the members, you will suffer in your constituencies. Because the nature of the house is, you have to get a project to get something for your people. That is because nobody will help you in the hereafter. It's only here, this person will help you and you will help others. <laughs> We are in the nine assembly. Majority of us that we don't have a good committee. Members. We are always assisted by Gatti. He's a new member, but anytime, unexpected, Gatti will call you. Please meet me, I have an important issue with you. The more he came, he will tell you, I know you don't have committee. Please take this for your people. Without requesting. And all in his life, he is always trying, he is the only person that advise the speaker in the right way. So, in terms of goodness, welfare, that one I give him 1,000%. And I have confidence. I have confidence. When he emerges as a speaker, he will protect the members' integrity because he has a plan and I saw the plan. He, I am sure if Gaddi became a speaker, he will break history in this country. Because I have confidence, he will be the best speaker from 1999 to date. He, has, he, has, he, he is a man of integrity. He is a man of integrity. That is why we should forget everything. Members should concentrate and make sure he emerge as a speaker because I am sure even from the welfare, <laughs> members will know that a good speaker has come. <laughs> so, what he did I can say, let me say one thing in the manifesto. He did one thing, which if he did that as a speaker, not even members, Nigerian people will love him, and people, he will put government in line, that issue of oversight. You see, God say, if he became a speaker, the time of oversight should shut down the house. Let the committees go around the nation, oversight all the projects, come back to the house, report to the speaker on the pool, one by one, and we make sure that that project is going smoothly. So, if you oversight project in this nation, you will tackle corruption almost 70% because that is where the money is diverted. Anybody you see is a project money. You will see project in budget by name. Where is the project? Inside the pocket. 
That is what is, what, that is, what is going. But this oversight that he said he did it, project will meet to the grassroots, anywhere all the money budgeted for the people will go for the people. So this is the reason why I said he will bring a new assembly. So I am appealing to the newly elected members and the ranking members, they should not do mistake, which will lead them to regret. These two people, they are the only people of integrity. I am in the house since 2015, Peter and him. Because that others, they are all my friends. I know them, they are highness. <laughs> we cannot give a hyena meat and say it will not eat. That is the reality. I will say it as it is. Only these two people. And I tell you the lapses of Mr. Yes. So that is my contribution. I pray for Allah to put his light in this race and give Yusuf Gaddi, Speaker of the Ten Assembly. And may Almighty Allah guide him, guide him to break the history for doing good in this country. Thank you very much.